darlings I hope you're well and having a fab day so far um, as you've just seen I've just got back from the gym did a really good very tough workout with Adam Charlie and I are going on a real holiday not a work trip a real real holiday on Saturday um, so really blitzing it in the gym this week I've had three personal training sessions with Adam so far this week and I've got another one on Friday today was push-pull exercises mostly upper body as you saw so feeling good after that it's now half eight and ready to start the day I haven't done a one day vlog in quite a while aside from my Venice travel vlog um, but today's a very exciting day because <laughs> exciting for me and I think you guys will enjoy it as well um, I'm going to be doing my biannual wardrobe changeover if you will so as you may know when it comes to changing my wardrobe from autumn winter to spring summer I do a big switch around and then the same from spring summer to autumn winter I was actually looking back at my previous YouTube videos because if you've been around for a while you'll know that I do this every um, time the seasons change. I've done this video in vlog format for the past three years I think. If I can find them I'll leave them linked down below. But I checked the date that I did this video last year thinking that I was too early doing it now in early September. But I did this exact video last year on the 19th of August which is crazy. I think that shows that maybe autumn arrived early last year which is such a shame because obviously we've had a really long hot summer this year still hoping we might have a bit of an Indian summer a little bit more heat but preparing for autumn because I'm so excited about all the autumn fashions and trends and again if you've been around for a while you'll know that I do like to really carefully choose some key investment pieces pieces that I invest in and that they're so gorgeous that I wear year after year so I know that up in the loft I've got some really beautiful autumn pieces so I thought it'd be really fun to show you the switch over um, I'll be putting anything really summery and you know hot weather appropriate back up in the loft aside from a few pieces that I'll be wearing on holidays um, and I'll be bringing down all my autumn winter pieces maybe not my thick thick coats because I'm just not quite ready for that but you know things like knitwear more trousers more autumnal colors because at the moment I don't have any of that in my wardrobe so that's the plan for the day I'm very much looking forward to showing you the whole process um, if you saw my what's new in my wardrobe video lately the last one I think went live last Thursday then you'll have seen that I already have some new autumn pieces in my wardrobe it's a good idea to get rid of some of the spring summer things to make room for those as well but first of all before I do that I'm going to make myself my morning breakfast smoothie and coffee and hop in the shower so let's get going So I'm about halfway through my morning smoothie. I've had to put my cardio on, it's got a little bit chilly. Um, very tasty. I've gone for a mixed berry smoothie this morning. I always like to have at least half of my breakfast smoothie before I take my morning vitamins because I don't think it's too good to take them on an empty stomach. Um, but I have had quite a few questions about my morning vitamins since I featured them in my morning routine video that you guys will have seen 
last Sunday. So I thought I would do a three month update because it has been about three months since I first started using the Holland and Barrett health box. So now seems like a good time to update you. Um, as you may remember, I signed up to the service and I receive a little box every couple of weeks and it contains little packets, in fact, I keep my packets in our health cupboard. Um, so yeah, you get a box and it contains these little packets which you can tear away. So if you're going out for meetings, you want to take your tablets later on in the day or if you're traveling, it's just super handy that everything comes in these little packets. And whizzing back to the very start of the process, I went on the Holland and Barrett website, I'll leave the exact link to where I did this down below and filled out a questionnaire so that Previously, I would go to the store and I'd be overwhelmed by how many vitamins were for sale. I would not really know which ones would go well with each other. Like I knew I wanted more energy, I knew I wanted better skin, better hair, better nails, um, and that I wanted to improve fatigue, things like that. But I would never know if I was overdosing on something or if I was not getting enough of something. Basically just creating a cocktail and not really knowing if it was right or not. But with Holland and Barrett, so what is so amazing about this service is you take a bit of time, it's actually like two minutes, to fill out a really thorough questionnaire about your current lifestyle and also what you would like. So would you like more energy? Would you like to work on your bones? Would you like to work on your skin? Things like that. It asks you what your current lifestyle is like, diet wise, um, do you smoke? Do you drink a lot? Things like that. And then based on the results of this, so it's very, very personalized, it then suggests a selection of vitamins tailored to you and your needs, which is amazing. It saves so much time and trying to figure out what goes with what. And then with the vitamins that it suggests, you can then choose to get a subscription, which I did. So every couple of weeks, you then get a box through your letterbox. It has very thorough literature in there about lifestyle changes that you can make in order to boost the efficiency of your vitamins. It's also got information about every vitamin in your packet. Um, I'll leave the video link down below where I went into more detail about this so that you know that every single vitamin, what the effects are going to be. So I know that my big three ones down at the bottom, they are my magnesium tablets, they're going to be helping with my energy levels, so it's really good that you know a lot more about what you're taking, and it helps you to understand the benefits more. So very, very useful. You also get emails from Holland and Barrett, they send you tips on lifestyle changes, and things that you can do at different times of the year. Obviously, we're moving into autumn now, and um, I always used to find that when the evenings got shorter, when it got darker, I would just get so tired, I wouldn't be able to do anything productive after 7 p.m. and I'm the type of person that loves to be productive at all times whether I'm doing emails, writing a blog post, editing a video but when it gets dark I used to find that I would just have to do nothing I wouldn't be able to be productive but I have noticed that my energy levels are so much better since taking these you guys have even been so kind and said that my skin is looking better so very very pleased with the results and it's also nice with the continuous emails and the literature that you get with the boxes you kind of just feel like you've got a team supporting you as well and just ensuring that you know you're on the right tracks. So highly, highly recommend. I will leave a link down below to where you can do the questionnaire. Give it a try, especially as we are moving into the cooler months. I think it's a really good time of year to start working on your vitamin intake, obviously alongside a healthy diet and lifestyle, as they say in all the booklets. Um, but yeah, if you just wanna maintain your energy levels, keep yourself looking and feeling great throughout autumn, then definitely give it a go. So I'm gonna take my morning vitamins and head upstairs, shower, and then let's get organizing. Okay, so we're upstairs in my wardrobe room. If you have not seen the process of this room being built, um, then I'll leave that video linked up on the screen because it's a really cool process. This room just used to be a very messy office. If you watched my How I Prepare My Wardrobe for Autumn video last year, you'll have seen it in its old state. Um, but yeah, we had Sharps come and do the most amazing makeover, so now, it's fabulous. So I've got changed into some comfy clothes and the first thing that I'm gonna do is make some space in my wardrobe. I've just brought down a couple of suitcases from the loft which have got my last year's autumn winter stuff in there but currently there is no room for them because my wardrobe is just absolutely full to the brim. So the first thing I'm gonna do to get my wardrobe ready for autumn is pull out any pieces that are just far too summery to wear from now on. I'm gonna have a separate pile for things that would be good for holidays, but anything that I don't foresee me wearing from mid-September through to pretty much spring next year, I will be packing away and storing up in the loft. So this is the first clear out. 
let's get going. So there are some things in my wardrobe that actually, even though they're very summery, I'm not putting away yet. For example, this Reese top is a really nice layering piece. It is a silk strappy top, and I was actually wearing this quite recently. So this Reese recently. So this is gonna stay in my wardrobe. It's not taking up too much space. And I pretty much wear basic things like this all year round. So obviously I'm banging on constantly about how I like to invest in more premium high street pieces because they last year after year and things like this are a real testament to that this is a top from ted baker beautiful silk t-shirt and then it's got lovely lace sleeves and this i think i've had in my wardrobe for about four years and it just doesn't go out of style it's a really high quality piece and things like this obviously i just keep year after year after year already my pile of things to sell it's 90 percent high street pieces and then my keep pile is mostly my premium and slightly more high-end pieces so when i'm talking about investment pieces in my videos it's for a reason these are my real building blocks and core pieces in my wardrobe that do stand the test of time and i get, and i wear them year after year after year so this one is going to get packed down until next season but it will be staying in my wardrobe for many years to come. Okay, so as you can see from this empty side of my wardrobe, I have managed to get rid of about half of my clothes from this section, and those are the super summery things. I've got two piles down there, one to keep, which is much smaller, and one to sell when it comes to April time next year. So I'm gonna put the sell pile in a big Primark zippy bag and put a little label on there to remind myself that those are the things to sell. I've also found a couple of things which I think would probably sell at this time of year, such as this silky top shop blouse. I wore this a grand total of once for a photo shoot um, and never again. So that's gonna be sold swiftly. And then I've got a couple of more knitted things as well that I just didn't really get that much use out of. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna be selling these pieces yet. I will, if possible, put a few of them online, maybe on Depop like I did last time. Um, but I will leave the information down below where I have decided to sell them if you wanted to shop my wardrobe. So the next thing to do is go down to the shoes. My shoes are currently piled up underneath this section. I've got a few shelves where my shoes live. I always know when it's the time of year to do this swap over because your shoe collection is basically doubled here. So I've got a few autumn winter things sneaking in, but then I've also got all of my summer sandals. So the summer pieces, I'm not gonna need for the next few months, so it's time to go through those the same way as I did my clothes and pack away the really, really summery styles. Okay, so as you can see, they are very messily stacked up at the moment because I have far too many shoes in these shelves. I've got, as I mentioned, all four seasons of the year all piled into one. So I've got shoes on top of shoes, they're all jumbled up, which is not how I like to store my shoes. So hopefully after this process, I'll be able to see them all more clearly, have a lot less shoes here so that they can be beautifully presented once again, which is how this area was intended to look. So I'm gonna be fairly brutal with which, with which ones to get rid of and put into storage. Okay, I think we did a pretty good job there. As you can see, there are now no shoes stacked on top of each other. It looks beautiful in my shoe section. I can now see where all my shoes are. Um, so I've got my kind of transitional and more autumnal shoes in here. Still got all my mules. I've got some like open toe boots, a few of my closed toe boots at the back there. Things like my Chloe Susannas, which I'm so excited to wear again. Um, and the only thing that is allowed to be stacked is my trainers. I've got a couple of stacked pairs at the back, but then to be honest I normally just wear my adidas ones when I go to the gym so they are at the front and then a few pair of more summery a few pairs of more summery sandals here at the front for holidays and things like that so let me now show you the pieces that I've taken out of my wardrobe first of all we have this ginormous pile over here not very ceremonious I'm afraid but these are the shoes that I'm going to be getting rid of as you can probably see it's mostly high street shoes I've got things like these from Topshop um, these are from Topshop I've got some dupe 
groups of my Valentinos, Topshop. I mean, to be honest, it's just that the high street ones haven't lasted very well. They all look a little bit scuffed and damaged. So sadly, I think next summer I won't be wanting to wear these again. There's some shoes from Misguided. Um, actually, a pair of Reese ones here. And the only reason I'm getting rid of these is because I actually have a newer version. So these are probably almost definitely sell online because they're a really beautiful pair of shoes but because I've got a pair that's very similar I just don't need them in my collection anymore. These are the shoes that I'm going to be keeping and putting into storage for next summer so even though these aren't my Stuart Weitzman's they're actually a dupe these have lasted really well I think they're public desire or something like that. I really love this style. And then I've got a couple of really classic pairs of shoes like these Kirk Iger nude sandals. These are a very special pair of shoes because these were my bridesmaid shoes for Sophie's wedding. They are Ted Baker and they've got my initials and then also the date that Sophie got married underneath. So I'm going to find somewhere really special to keep those. Another couple of pairs of open-toed sandals, including my gorgeous Kate Spade ruffle shoes. That's another reason why I'm getting rid of these Topshop ones, because they're very similar to my Kate Spades. And then this pile down here is actually ones I'm going to be taking on holiday with me next week. So um, I'm just going to keep them out to pop them in my suit. Okay, so I'm feeling good because this part of my wardrobe is now done. Actually, I've just realized I haven't done the bags on the top, but that leads me on to my next section. Sorry, it's quite echoey in here. Um, so I'm gonna be clearing my bags and my dresses and also the bags up here. Anything, again, that's just too summery that I'm not gonna be wearing until about April next year. Again, I'm gonna be choosing whether to keep it, sell it, or donate it. So for example, something like this from Ted Baker. I love it, but I feel like I'm probably not going to be wearing it throughout the autumn winter months, so that is going to go into storage. And then I've got my little YSL blogger bag. This again is a really kind of spring summer handbag, but actually I didn't get that much use out of this. It doesn't fit my iPhone, which is really annoying, so I think I'm going to sell this. I probably will have a look online, see the best place to sell it. So again, I'm going to start my two piles, storage and selling or donating, and then hopefully we'll have a little bit more room on my shelves for new autumn handbags. Okay, handbags and hats and dresses are now all done. I'm exhausted and I need a cup of coffee so I'm going to take a 10 minute break and then I will catch up with you in a little bit to do the final cupboard which is skirts and I'm thinking there's going to be quite a few transitional pieces in there as well that are things that I've worn a lot during summer but I can also style up for autumn like my skirts so I'll have a look through that cupboard and then it's time to bring in the autumn pieces from last year and see which ones are going to work for this year. Hello again. So it's actually the next day. Um, my five minute coffee break turned into getting very distracted by emails, filming another video and life admin. So it's actually the next day, two day vlog, and I plan now to continue preparing my wardrobe for autumn. So I did last night do the final section, which is basically in here, um, my dresses and my skirts. And I find that a lot of the dresses are just super, super summery. So a lot of things have gone from there. So the fun bit starts now. I'm going to be bringing down, or I have bought down a suitcase and a couple of really big storage bags, which I got from ASOS. They're so so useful. Definitely recommend getting some if you want to store half your wardrobe, the little zippy ones. You can also get some from Primark. Um, I bought them down from the loft, so I'm now going to have a really good rummage, decide what things I'm going to sell or donate, and what things are going to be put in my wardrobe ahead of autumn. This is the fun bit, so let's do it. <laughs> All right, so I've just opened up my suitcase and the first thing that I can see is something that I'm very excited to wear. You guys will probably remember this if you watched my videos last year. And it is my gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous favorite Czech coat from Reese. I'm so happy that Czech print is still a huge trend this autumn winter. So, and also it's not super thick. It is warm because it's got a lining, but this is a really nice autumn coat. So I'm very excited to wear this again. It's been in a zipped suitcase, so it doesn't need dry cleaning but I probably will give this a steam just to freshen that one up. This is definitely my coat suitcase. I then have this coat from River Island. Um, 
I think I'll hold on to this for a little while, but I may end up selling this one just because, I don't know, I always find high street coats are just not the same quality as the premium high streets, so that's a maybe for keeping that one. Then we have my Kate Spade coat, and again, this was such a huge favourite. I got this on a press trip that I went to to New York with Kate Spade. Love it a lot. Sounds like there's some money in my Karen Millen coat. 27p. <laughs> I feel like a lot of these ones are actually deep winter, so what I'm going to do is just keep the 27p. Um, I'm just going to keep the Reese coat out and actually put these back in the loft because it's only September, temperatures are still mild, I don't think I need these heavy coats just yet. this one here. I actually think, having had a little look through, that this is a bag that at the end of last, at the, at the beginning of spring this year, I decided that these are the autumn winter things that I do want to sell, so now is the time for me to sell them, even though they're last year's things. So I've got things like jumpers, um, I've got some really lovely gloves, these ones have actually still got the label on them, brand new, unused, so actually I'm gonna sell all of these things, I'll have a quick rummage through, but at the end of last year I did decide that these were not to be kept, so we can zip that away again and figure out how to sell these pieces. Okay, so it looks like this bag is a little bit more exciting, so I'm definitely keeper pieces in here. I've got my favourite jumper dress from last year. I think this one was River Island. Um, yeah, with the balloon sleeves. Let me know if you remember this. Absolutely love this and jumper dresses are perfect for this time of year. When the temperature drops a little bit, I'll be wearing those again with my over knee boots. I've got lots of layering pieces in here and some other favourites like my Reese chocolate brown leather leggings. These were such a huge investment, but I love them. So excited to wear them again. Um, I got a size four and I remember that they were tight for me last year, so I really hope they still fit. My tip with things like this, if you're gonna spend a lot of money on um, something like leather leggings, maybe size up because, yeah, I'll be gutted if I don't fit those this year, but excited to wear them again. I love this, it's like shopping your own, your own wardrobe and because I've been away for so long, you kind of forget about things, but then you just remember how much you love them. Then I have this leather skirt, I think this was And Other Stories, yes it was. Again, I wore this a lot in New York and it's a lovely autumn piece, classic. It was more expensive than a lot of high street skirts, but <clears throat> the quality is there, beautifully made, so that'll last me for years to come. The more affordable version, I think this was New Look. Yep, this was a fraction of the price, but actually I do love it, so I'm gonna keep that. More coats in here. I've got my amazing Ted Baker check coat, which again, I love and I'm so excited to wear again, but this one is gonna go back in the loft just for a couple more months for, for space-saving reasons. My Marks and Spencer corduroy skirt. Corduroy skirts are definitely back in fashion this year, so I'll be wearing that again this autumn. Um, got a couple more coats in here that I'm not going to pull out. And then I've got some more autumnal handbags, including my Mulberry, I think this is called the Cecily bag, which I've padded up with coats. Needs a little bit of a clean. Um, and then I've got some lovely autumnal midi skirts in here. Like, oh my God, this was one of my favorites last year. I think it was Marks and Spencer. Yeah, Peruna. This one I just love because it's got an elasticated waistband. It's so comfy, really lovely autumnal color. We'll wear that again soon. Even got some scarves and stuff in here. The rest of this stuff, is very wintry. This is my All Saints jumper dress. I'll wear this again now. Yeah, the rest of this is very wintry, so that's gonna go back in the loft. Okay, so that's those first three bags done. I do think somewhere there must be another bag of autumn clothes because there's a few key pieces that I'm thinking of that I specifically wanted to find today. Like, um, I'll leave a picture of it on the screen here, this Topshop dress. I love it and I feel like it's so perfect for transitioning between summer and autumn. So this afternoon I'm going to have another rummage up in the loft and try to find that. But I really just want to do the fun bit of putting a few of my autumn pieces that I've got from last year and a few autumnal pieces that I've already bought this year. I just want to put some of those in my wardrobe. So that's what I'm going to do now. As you saw previously, I now have lots of space. 
because most of my summer stuff is gone. So let's do the refilling of my more autumnal new pieces. Sorry if you can hear the washing machine going off in the background. Nothing I can do to stop that, unfortunately. Um, but here are some of my autumnal pieces that are going in. You guys will have spotted some of these in my What's New in My Wardrobe video that went live last Thursday. So my gorgeous, cozy Reese knit. I sometimes hang my knitwear, um, but I have more hanging, sorry, I sometimes fold my knitwear, but I've got more hanging space than I have folding space, so I'm going to keep that one hung. Um, my two amazing Topshop dresses, my snake and my polka dot, they are going to go in this section here, which is for um, coats and long dresses. I also did find in the loft my Reese Lawson coat, which was my favourite and most worn coat last autumn, so I'm really excited to wear this again. But also, if you did watch my What's New in My Wardrobe, you'll have seen that I got a Topshop dupe, which is amazing and only £65. But this is another level when it comes to quality and warmth. It's wool, it's got a lining, so it's just a classic coat that's going to last a lifetime. So well worth the investment, especially if you do take care of it and keep it dry cleaned like I have done. So this is ready to go for this year. Got some spare hangers. Um, I get asked a lot about my hangers. These are just from Primark. My new Club Monaco knit, that can go in this section as well. A uh, new River Island knit, I'm excited to wear all these cozy layers. Topshop knit, this one is not so good on the hanger because of its um, shoulders, but once I've cleared out the drawers, I will hang things like this. Then I've got uh, my Topshop snake print blouse, lovely animal print for autumn, big trend for this year. And then we've got my little Reese shorts and my Topshop corduroy skirt. Both of these will go, oh, both of these will go in the end section down here, which is where I put my skirts and dresses. Okay, we're doing well. So in my first section here, sorry for any background noise, Dickens has made his way upstairs and he's currently rummaging through the boxes. So we've got a real mix in here. It is a bit of a strange time of year wardrobe wise, but I've got, Dickie! But I've got my coats that are appropriate for autumn, like my lovely Topshop. In case of very cold days, I've got my Reese. I've got my first jumper dress of the season in place from last year. Haven't bought any this year, but stay tuned because I probably won't be able to resist. Then I've got my more summery lightweight dresses, such as my Topshop ones. And then these are a few really summery dresses that I'm just not quite ready to pack away yet. And then some coats that I have been wearing throughout spring and summer, like my trench coats, because these are a little bit lighter. So so very good for this time of year. Also just flipping the camera around, I still have my autumn winter from last year over knee boots down here because I never actually put them away because I love them so much. So these are all ready to go. My amazing LK Bennett's, got my Stuart Weitzman's back there. So very excited to wear those. These are actually new from Emu. So I'm looking forward to doing some walking trips and wearing those. Middle section, as you guys just saw, still lots of space here ready for more autumn pieces that I either buy or find up in the loft. Shoe section looking so much tidier, really really happy with this. I can see everything and nothing is stacked aside from some of my trainers, but they're just trainers so it doesn't really matter. And again, room for some new autumn pieces. And then this section, I just have a few summery dresses still hung up for my upcoming trips and then a few of my more autumnal pieces starting to sneak in, like my Ted Baker midi skirt, Marks and Spencer one, and then we've got some lovely autumnal skirts down here, some corduroys. These are some real favourites from last year as well. Do you guys remember this Reese suede skirt? I'm so excited to wear this again this year. And then my LK Bennett's, uh, what do you call that material? The word has completely escaped my head, kind of like a tweed material. And my ASOS suede skirt, which is so old, it's about five years old, but I love it. And then some lightweight jackets, which are really good for this transitional period as well. Like my three-year-old 
Reese leather jacket. This Zimmerman dress I think is really nice for autumn as well, definitely for the more mild days. And then my River Island suede jackets, which are now I think in their third year. So lots of pieces which have lasted me well through the seasons. So this was the beginning of my process of preparing my wardrobe for autumn. There's still a little bit left to do, but I think trying to do it all in one session is just not very realistic. But I hope you've enjoyed this little preview as to how I'm getting ready for the upcoming season. It has definitely been a case of out with the old, in with some of the old, and in with some of the new as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be more along these lines to come very soon, but I think this one is long enough. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have started preparing your wardrobe for autumn. Let me know if you have a different technique of doing it, or if you do it in a similar way to to me. Um, and yeah, I will leave everything that I've mentioned in detail linked down below as always. So that is all for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.